Hi everybody, I'm Cotton Candy Demon and welcome to my very first narrated speed paint. So today this piece is called Flirtation. It's of two OCs that I have, um, as I'm sure all of the artists on here do have OCs. Um, and these ones are Isaac and Bunny. So a little bit of backstory between Isaac and Bunny. They meet at a Halloween party and um, kind of hit it off right away. But we come to find out that um, Isaac is dead and Bunny is the one that killed him. So they get to deal with all of that nonsense. Uh, so um, here I'm working on, on the first sketch layer, just kind of getting the basic posing down um, and their body shapes and the kind of differences between them. So... Um, uh, so to give you guys some backstory about like me, um, I'm 26 and I've been a digital illustrator for, oh, I'd say a good 10, 12 years now. And, um, I recently, and recent is a relative term in this situation, lost my old computer. Um, it just kind of quit on me and I've been unable to do digital art for about six, seven months now. So this is my first piece that I've done in a very long time and I am very happy with it. Um, I'm very glad to get my new setup all done and work with what I have. So uh, the tablet I'm using, in case anybody is wondering, is the Huion uh, Canvas Pro 12. Um, it's a screen tablet. It's the first screen tablet I've ever owned out of all of the tablets I've had. And I gotta say, I definitely prefer it to uh, other tablets. I, I really love the feeling of drawing on paper with with digital art it's great uh actually i can't believe i waited so long to get a screen tablet um but Huion is great they're really affordable hashtag not sponsored i just really like the product um so here i'm working on the second sketch layer um i'm really solidifying what their bodies look like and Wow, I had some hard times with a couple of parts of this, like Isaac's hand. He just, just kept looking like he had spider fingers and I couldn't figure it out. Um, finally, I think I got a decent way to hold his hand, especially since it's so prominent in the foreground. Um, and I'm, I'm working on their outfits now. So, like I said, with these two characters, they meet on Halloween and Bunny doesn't really get into a costume. She just sort of wears her going out drinking clothes which um she dresses in a very alternative style so she's got a leather jacket fishnets um a black and white striped pencil skirt um very nice outfit but isaac's outfit he is dressed up for halloween and he happens to be his outfit happens to be inspired by um the skeleton onesie that gerard way wore uh, when touring for Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. <laughs> um, but I didn't want him to, you know, just wear a onesie. And he's supposed to be this kind of <sighs> smooth talker kind of character. And I felt like him being in a onesie was very silly. And uh, so I, I turned the onesie design into a jacket. And um, he's wearing like a skeleton t-shirt underneath and a, just a pair of black jeans. Um, Anyway, um, I, I don't really, sorry, this is my first time narrating one of my pieces, and I gotta say, I find it very challenging to, like, talk about my art, but, uh, oh, here we're actually getting to something that I can talk about, so, um, Isaac's face, um, uh, I have, like, a, a mood board on Pinterest where I create, um, inspiration pick where I like create inspiration boards for my characters and um I don't know why it took me so long to just go on to the face claim area for Isaac because I couldn't get his face right uh he just kept looking like really creepy and really predatory and um I just wasn't 
feel in the face. It was, um, it made him look like he was holding Bunny against her will. And that's really, obviously, with the title like Flirtation, was not the feeling I was going for. So finally, I just pulled out the pin the old Pinterest board <laughs> and um, looked at some of his face facial inspirations and finally I was able to get his face right um, I also in the original sketches for this character he had his bangs in his face uh, and it, wow did it look like 2007 um, when you looked at him and as much as I love that style and still am in that style myself um, it really looked silly um, considering that the character is like 29 and he uh, had floppy bangs in his face and like nothing wrong with that but uh, the way it made the character look was silly so I kind of pushed his bangs back um, like he ran his fingers through his bangs and just kind of plopped them on the top of his head and I feel like that really suits the character a little more it uh, opens up his face and um, gives it a little bit more visual interest when like pieces fall over his eyes for some reason or another um so now we're moving on to the line art layer and oh wait no yeah line art um but here i'm doing a little color key for the uh characters um just like their skin tone their hair color and their eyes so um but line art. Okay, so line art, as I'm sure every artist, or at least a lot of artists feel, is a very difficult process. Um, I really have been interested in having a style similar to, say, like the Telltale games, um, Wolf Among Us and, and such. I really like that graphic, thick, uh, comic booky style and I try to do that a lot of the time but I just can't seem to find myself getting it right uh, so uh, you know with every artist there's definitely the talk of oh finding my style and I feel like I have a very generic style um, but I do also understand that that comes with time and I mean I have been drawing for quite some time I do I did also go to school for it, you know, uh, so I, I can understand, uh, I just, you know, y you're always going to kind of feel like you're in progress and in growth, no matter how far along in your art journey you are, um, it's just part of being an artist, uh, you're always gonna, you know, you're always gonna find ways to improve and you're always gonna want to improve and you're honestly always going to be your harshest critic so don't don't think too much about trying to find a style or something just draw because you love it because i mean i know so many other youtubers have said this uh and so many artists have said this but it's really honestly true the reason everybody says it is because it, it rings with the truth you know um and we're all speaking out of experience like just keep drawing and and eventually you'll see that a style develops uh and you know with with practice and and uh persistence you will be able to change that style or develop that style and it's really something nice that uh you know it's like handwriting it's yours and yours alone i feel um it can look very similar to others art styles because they are your contemporaries uh but there will always be parts of it that are only yours and i think that's really cool um i really like that about art that you can most of the time look at someone's art no matter what time period they're from or when they were making art uh and see the influences of of the way their contemporaries drew but definitely feel their fingerprint it's it's a really nice um it's a really nice thing that i that i've always enjoyed um so um yeah and that's that's always fun um sorry just tried to get uh 
existential and what. So, um, uh, I'm also trying in this drawing to kind of put more details into the clothing. Uh, I used to be very simple with the clothing I would draw. It would just be very basic and I wouldn't put, I wouldn't like draw the seams or the stitching and things. And I really felt like drawing the seams and the stitching was something that um, I always thought was really cool when people would do. But for some reason, I didn't try until, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago or so. And uh, considering it's something I've always admired in drawings, once I, once I started drawing them, I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> it's really not that hard. Uh, you just, you know, you see jeans every day and see where their seams are. Just, just put them there. Uh, and, you know, look at references and figure out how they work. <laughs> and, it, you know, it's, it's great. Um, and it really brings that little something extra into your drawing. It makes the character seem just a little bit more alive. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, right here. Um, I made Bunny's head just so tall. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but uh, I'm glad I lowered it because it was definitely looking crazy. Uh, and here, what I like to do to color is I like to select everything outside of the drawing and then reverse the selection so that I can just fill in the colors and here um, you can see I missed a couple of spots so I went back and I tried to draw I tried to just put the colors in and I decided no that that wasn't gonna work that I'm just gonna do a solid base color and then um, color on top of that so that way maybe the colors will blend a little bit with that base color so that way they all um, kind of look harmonious and in the same spectrum and you know it's it's fine to have crazy colors and all out there but I definitely really like my color spectrums to be very I wouldn't say monocolor because they're obviously very different colors but all to have like a pink undertone or a blue undertone and just kind of in the same family um it's same with like blacks. The only time I ever use solid black is in the line art. And when I color things in black, it's always like a very dark blue or a very dark purple or a very, very dark red or green. Um, I try to stay away from very dark yellows because they don't really look like a black. They always look brown. Uh, but yeah. Um, so now you can see I'm coloring and I'm color picking from those little color keys uh, to get the colors on the characters um and uh, that's that's a fun time so uh i just filling in the colors and you know i mean i could probably use the bucket tool but there's just something so satisfying about coloring it like a coloring book i really enjoy that um you know just adding i i didn't add a lot of blush to isaac because you know his character is supposed to be dead but uh man i love adding so much blush to characters i mean just look at bunny she is just pink like she's sunburnt i i love it uh <laughs> and um with this i have a couple of different like ways i do things um i like to do like painterly styles and uh as well but this one i definitely went really light with the painterly um i just kind of did the colors on like Bunny's eyeshadow and her cheeks I painted on there but everything else is very solid flat colors and um, that's because I do some like really heavy shadowing later on and it's very like it's supposed to be like set against a wall in a nightclub and I didn't really do like a, an elaborate background or anything but I think the point gets across and because of the like really heavy shadows I tried to stay away from getting too painterly because um, it would just I feel like muddy it up um, for me at that point um, but uh, you know not saying that you can't like paint your shadows in and stuff I'm sure many other people can but I'm just not that great at it <laughs> honestly um, 
I'm so much better with other things than I am at that. But, you know, we all have things we want to learn and grow on. And I'll, I'll work on it eventually. <laughs> so uh, once I have my flat colors in, uh, you can see me playing around with the shadows, uh, figuring out which way the light is coming in. Uh, and I definitely knew I wanted to have this, like, halo-y kind of effect. Um, oh, and if you heard a big thump, that was my cat just jumping off of the uh, bookshelf. Uh, everything's fine. Sorry about that, though. Uh, so now, instead of... Since I knew I wanted to have, like, a, a lighting halo effect, I, instead of coloring in the shadows, I did reductive coloring, or, like, reductive shadows. So everything I painted with the shadow color... Uh, and then I took away the parts that I wanted to have highlighted. Um, and I I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Because that's usually what I do. But I was just like, oh yeah, let's do it the other way. And I, it's just super silly of me. Uh, but again, like I said, it's um, it had been a really long time since I'd done digital art. Uh, because of my computer, my old computer breaking down. But um, I, I definitely... I'm getting back into the swing of things and I'm very happy to be making YouTube videos again. Um, and honestly, if this one does okay, I, I might do more voiceovers and, you know, might not ramble on and might actually talk about stuff you guys are interested in. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, here's me finishing it up and just kind of giving it a, a background kind of feeling, you know, sh shading and uh, giving it a little more ambiance than just t two characters in the center of the page, uh, which is all well and good, but sometimes you just want a little more oomph, you know what I'm talking about? So, um, oh, I decided to switch the colors on here and have the lighter wall be the wall that she's against and the dark wall be, or the dark area be like the background background because um, then with the lighter wall I could make the shadow a little bit more obvious so that's what I did and then here I'm playing with the lights I was like okay nightclubs have like bright fun lights but then it just looked really silly when I made them lights and it washed out my drawing really bad so I just took one of the colors and made it the shading or not shading the lighting so that was that was something I definitely really enjoyed uh, and I'm pretty much done with the piece at this point I'm just making all the tabs uh, or making all the layers one and then signing it and yeah so here's not only my first digital drawing of 2020 but also my first piece of, piece of digital art in uh, about in a, in a half a year or so uh, just adding the finishing touches like his makeup for his costume and yeah thanks so much for joining me today and um this is cotton candy demon signing out bye bye